If you're a deaf person, and if you're not, welcome. We've been waiting. You've heard about the traveling show of preserved, plastinated corpses that is Body Worlds. Body Worlds! Body Worlds! Party time! Excellent! Chances are you've even been to see it. Over 40 million people have. In fact, it's the world's most popular touring attraction, in spite of op-eds and religious leaders in every country asking, what does going to see a disgusting, flayed, open corpse say? about us as a society. What it says about us as a society is that we made a bunch of dead bodies the most popular touring attraction in the world. It says that we're really interested in death and want to see corpses. That's, that's what it says. The process started with this guy, Gunther von Hagens, a German anatomist seen here with his dog of horrors. To plastinize a body, the first step is to inject formalin into the arteries to stop decomposition. This is pretty similar to what goes on during a mortuary embalming. Then the body goes into an acetone bath, dissolving the fats and water. The real magic happens when the body goes into liquid polymer and a vacuum chamber. Then you position the body how you want it, let it harden, cure, and boom, forever corpse. If you ask Dr. Von Hagens, he says he's controversial because he makes people face their own death and fears. And that's certainly part of it, but a bigger controversy over the years has been that there's a lot of bodies that there's just no paperwork for. In 2004, a German newspaper was like, Gunther, these are the bodies of executed political prisoners that you bought for really cheap from China. And Von Hagens was like, you don't know that, you can't prove that because I don't even know where the bodies came from. Ha, so there. Apparently he had to send seven bodies back to China and even more later when they came into his facility and hmm, it appears these bodies have been shot in the head. What? Why would they have been shot in the head? That isn't even the most, oh my god, what part. Body Worlds has a knockoff competitor called Bodies, the exhibition. They publicly admit that they use unwilling Chinese donors for their bodies. Here's a statement from their spokesperson. They're unclaimed. We don't hide from it. We address it right up front. Wow. Right up front. That's... Great transparency. In 2009, the highest court in Paris ordered that Our Body, another copycat exhibition, should be closed immediately. Judge Louis-Marie Rangiard said, the appropriate place for the corpse, according to the law, is the cemetery. Presumably a Chinese cemetery because that's where those bodies were from too. On one hand, I believe very much in post-mortem consent. If these people were unwilling, shut the whole thing down. On the other hand, if someone does consent through the right channels while they're alive, I don't see why it has to be taken down because, ugh, put those bodies in a cemetery. No anatomy for you, public deviance. Interestingly, that ruling happened in Paris in 2009, but here's where I went in Paris just a month ago. Roll the intro footage. At this veterinary school in a suburb of Paris is one of the oldest and strangest museums in Europe, the Musée Fragonard. Oh, hello there. Honoré Fragonard was born in 1792. He trained to be a surgeon, but eventually became a veterinary professor and animal anatomist. But it wasn't only animal anatomy that he was interested in. Oh no. Behold, his écorché. Fragonard's flayed, preserved bodies, well over 200 years old. Only 21 of these Enlightenment-era pieces remain, of an original 3,000, animal and human. His technique, still not entirely understood, was to drain the veins of blood. The body would then go into a warm water bath before being injected with a secret mixture of resin, oil, tallow, and beeswax, dyed red or blue. Only then would the body be opened and dissected, dried out, paint touched up, sometimes creepy fake eyes put in, whole thing covered in resin. Here we have a man on a horse, reminiscent of Durer's Horseman of the Apocalypse. For whatever reason, what have not survived time are the tiny fetal skeletons 
riding fetal horses and donkeys, acting as small squires for the man on the horse. What do remain are the dancing fetuses, to give you a sense of what it looked like. Obtaining bodies during Fragonard's time was no easy feat. We all know the stories about anatomists paying grave robbers to dig up fresh corpses at night, or bribing executioners for gallows bodies, or taking unclaimed bodies from hospitals. It's ghoulish, but the men doing this were just desperate to study anatomy, which is one of the geekier reasons to commit a crime. I've just got to dissect for educational and training purposes, no matter the cost. We've come a long way in both time and technique from Fragonard to von Hagens. We can't change the past, but we can ask ourselves for the future, what are our values when it comes to the study or public display of dead bodies? I'd love to know your thoughts. Mine are always evolving. I find myself sometimes giving a pass to someone like Fragonard just because he was in the past, um, as opposed to someone like von Hagens practicing now. Uh, but until next time, Party on, future corpses! Brought to you with support from People's Memorial Association and the Co-op Funeral Home, and donations from viewers like you.